Ebola-like virus, which causes massive bleeding found to jump from human to human after Bolivia outbreak. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Shalom. All praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Vacha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy, to the elect of the nation of Israel, who are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who must get here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom, and Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai This lesson is edifying. Now, as you brothers and few sisters have just heard me read the title, Ebola-like virus, which causes massive bleeding found to jump from human to human after Bolivia outbreak. The Lord Yahweh through Son Yahweh Shai are bringing even more plagues upon the planet Earth for wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole Earth. Okay, and their hurtful works are fulfilled as we had just read roughly paraphrasing the second of the 15th chapter. Now it says scientists have sounded the alarm over an Ebola-like virus from Bolivia which has been found to spread from person to person, killing three out of every five confirmed patients. And this can be the new deadly disease <clears throat> that Esau, Edom, can and possibly will use, coupled with the, with the coronavirus, to keep everything locked down and to further bring fear upon the people and to ultimately push their agenda their no order agenda that that is true gradualism and their no order agenda is to cause all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead that mark is the RFID market chip which is a mark of the beast okay it says the rodent born Shapir virus first emerged in 2004 in the Bolivian province from which it gets its name, about 370 miles east of the country's capital city, La Paz. New research has shed light on the deadliness of the disease and how it spread from patient zero. Following a 2009 outbreak in the country, researchers have found that though it comes from a different viral family than Ebola, it also causes hemorrhage, hemor hemorrhagic fever, which can, in turn, cause life-threatening organ failure and bleeding. At present, there is no treatment <laughs> for Chapir outside of intravenous hydration and supportive care. The virus cases, excuse me, the virus causes fever, headache, abdominal pain, rash, and bleeding of the gums, and is believed to result from contact with rat urine and droppings and these devils have conjured up all kinds of deadly diseases in their labs man you know these devils are forges of lies and physicians of no value they're witches and warlocks okay and check this out also on rt.com scientists discover crapping Grappling hook, <laughs> which makes coronavirus so much more infectious than its SARS predecessor. So these devils are always conjuring up something new, man, in their labs to ultimately forward their agenda. 
and they will do whatever it takes to do so even if they have to shut the entire globe down through these continuous shutdowns and so on and so forth but we ultimately understand that the Lord Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai are the ones that are doing it on the left hand side of the heavenly father Yahweh through the spiritual demon Satan through these devils because prophecy is being rapidly fulfilled and the next major prophecy is the mandating of the mark of the beast which is the RFID microchip okay and we are in the times that are heading up to that times we are in the times of Jacob's trouble the very beginning of it which we will soon enter into the very depths of it and we're going to see a lot more horrific things happen these devils are going to come down having great wrath because they know that they had but a short time and they will be like madmen sparing none and like a flood but the Lord will lift up that standard for the elect of the nation of Israel it says Dr. Kathleen Kosa Boom, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, an epidemiologist at the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, presented findings from her research into a 2019 outbreak to the American Society of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene's annual meeting on Monday. A 65-year-old rice farmer was patient zero in the outbreak, who then spread the disease to a 25-year-old doctor who treated him. Night before he died, she suctioned saliva from his mouth, and then she fell ill nine days later. Kasabum explained, the 48-year-old paramedic who tr transported the doctor to hospital was the next to be infected after performing CPR on her. A gastroenterologist conducted an endo endoscopy scopy on the doctor and developed symptoms 14 days later all of the cases resulted in exposure to bodily fluids from an infectious person patient zero the doctor and the gastroologist all died from if i'm pronouncing that correctly all died from the chapar virus while the ambulance worker and another infected person survived in that was pretty much it. Um, but I'll just read this last part. It says, Scientists now worry the virus may have been circulating in the country for years without patients having been misdiagnosed with dengue fever, a muscular-borne virus which cannot be transmitted from human to human, like, unlike Chappell. And they're going to say, oh, well, we don't know how many people travel from Bolivia to the U.S. and from Bolivia to different other countries and how many people might possibly inf be infected unknowingly with this new deadly disease that's really been around for a while so you see what these devils do and where they're going with all this you know so let's go back to the scripture in second Ezra the 15th chapter and conclude the lesson again second Ezra chapter 15 verse 5 behold save the lord jehovah by shimmy i i will bring plagues upon the world the sword and a sword is an instrument of cruelty and the sword pursuant to the book of psalms chapter 17 verse 13 is the wicked who is the wicked malachi chapter 1 verse 4 esau edom beginning with the elites and their blessing is the sword that is the blessing of the edomites the sword okay that's why they have the greatest and largest military upon the earth okay and they have all men of different technologies because their blessing is a sword famine we have been seeing famine happening throughout the earth and there's going to be a great famine over here in america babylon the great and there's also going to be a spiritual famine okay a famine over here in the words of yahweh bashim yahweh shai Okay, as there will be a famine of bread, you know, lack of bread. Death. There's going to be a lot of death. And have been a lot of death as we speak this year, the year of prophecy. But things are going to only increase 
and get worse for the worst is yet to come and destruction and all these things are on the horizon man because prophecy has to be fulfilled and we have been seeing these things happening in the form of race uh division and and, and riots uproars of the people and the love of many waxing cold okay and they will be ultimately uh, the destruction by of thermonuclear fire that will come upon the land of America. Babylon the Great utterly destroying this land. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hopeful works are fulfilled. That's why we see all these things happening because wickedness had, had exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Okay. The wickedness of the so-called white man, the Edomites. Through their democracy, their idolatry, their unrighteous decrees, bestiality, sodomy. The list goes on, man, on the things that these devils indulge in and allow in their kingdom. For all these things are wickedness that, had, that had, had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their horrible works are fulfilled. And that's why the Lord is bringing all these different plagues and pestilences, man. Because. He's sick and tired of all the wickedness. And he is about to bring great judgment upon the kingdom of the wicked. So, hey, with that, I pray this lesson was edifying. I wanted to, you know, make it concise, not too long. Until the next, I say, Shalom to the elect. Lord's willing, until the next.